Okay, so sa gabing ito, we will be discussing about transformer and transmission lines. No? So first, i-define natin kung ano yung transformer. No? So transformer is a passive electrical device that transfer electrical energy between two or more circuit. No? Uh, varying current in one coil of the transformer produces a varying magnetic flux which in turn induces a varying uh, electromotive force across a second coil worn around the same core. Electrical energy no, can be transferred between two coils without a metallic connection between the two circuit. No? So Faraday's law of induction uh, discovered in 1831 described the induced voltage effect in any coil due to changing magnetic flux encircled by the coil. Transformers are used for increasing or decreasing the alternating voltage in electrical power applications and for coupling the stages of signal processing circuits. No? So, basically, ang transformer, katulad ng uh, switches, um, the switches, um, the uh, the resistors, the inductor is a passive electrical device. So meaning, it does not use the electrical energy. No, ang ginagawa lamang ng transformer is transferring the electrical energy, no, between two coils or from uh, between two or more circuits. No, so paano niya ginagawa yung pagtransfer ng electrical energy? No, due to um, electromagnetic induction. No, using uh, by varying the magnetic flux no ang ang pinagkaiba sa transformer so there is no metallic connection so meaning there is no connection between the the two coils no so dalawang coils wala siyang ano electrical connection ang meron lang is the connection between the magnetic flux no the the transformer applications is usually in decreasing or increasing the alternating voltages in electrical power applications so especially sa ano sa transmission lines no yan yung gamit ng transformer so either step up or step down of the voltages and also in in communication circuits so yung sa signal processing circuits no so coupling the stages of signal processing circuits especially in the the modulation of the um, amplitude modulation or frequency modulation no okay so classification of okay so classification of transformer so first according to the core no yung yung nasa ano yung 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 kung saan natin nilalagay yung ating dalawang coil so that is the core of the transformer so we have core type so l core voltage so, it, this is for high voltage and high power. Meron din tayong shell type or E-type. Tapos, meron tayong berry type or circular type. No? Next is according to purpose no? for which it is used. So, transmission transformer are for transmission lines. No? Usually located on our substations. Distribution transformer sa mga distribution line. No? Yung, yung karaniwan yung nakikita sa mga poste. Generator transformer are usually found on a power plant. No? yung nasa ano yung 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 kasama sa ano sa generating plant to so those are generator transformer so we have also testing transformer used to test no to test other transformer or other electrical machines then you have instrument transformer so it could be a current transformer the CT or a potential transformer or a PT no then according to method of cooling no kasi yung ating transformer yung mga coil niya dapat natin yung I cool down no I cool down kasi kapag nag-overheat yan so pwedeng masunog yung ating coil of wire so meron tayong apat na klase ng transformer according to their cooling method so first is self cooled then force air cooled yung pangalawa oil self cooled no oil ang ginagamit dito for force air oil cooled with air or water so ito yung kaniwang ginagamit sa mga transmission transformer so this this force oil cooled with air or water are usually used in uh, in transmission line transformer lalo na yung uh, medyo malalaki-laki na yung kanilang uh, kilo uh, kilovolt ampere rating or kva rating okay so ideal transformer is considered no so when we say ideal transformer 
So, there is no voltage drop across its winding. So, therefore, yung ating coil, wala siyang tinatawag nating voltage drop. So, walang resistance. If resistance and leakage flux are neglected, in which losses are neglected, power input is the same as power output. So, meaning, the efficiency of our transformer is equal to 100%. No? So, this is for ideal transformer. But in reality, hindi naman talaga nangyayari na meron uh, na 100%, no? Or walang uh, power loss ang ating transformer. So, kaya, yung ating, uh, yung ating kinoconsider palagi is a practical transformer, no? Yung may uh, losses, no? Transformer generated voltage equation. So, ito yung equation when we are going to solve for the primary and the secondary voltage. So, we have 4.44. F is our frequency, which is in hertz. V sub M is the mutual flux in Weber. Then our RMS must, our voltage must be the RMS voltage. No? So, ang nalabas dito is the RMS voltage. Then, meron din tayong ano, yung sa ating, ano ito? Uh, yung itong 4.44. So, this is taken from 4 times 1.4. Eleven, so that is the form factor of the sinusoidal wave. No, because AC wave, you can consider them as come to transformer. Okay, so transformer losses and efficiency. No, so we know that the formula for efficiency is equals to output over input times one hundred, or we could say that one as output over output plus losses. No, times one hundred percent. For the rain input minus the losses over input times one hundred percent. So the, so these three formulas are the same. No, depending kung ano yung ating given no then transformer losses so what are the different losses at in transformer so we have core losses so these are fixed result of hysteresis and ad current losses in the magnetic field or core of the transformer so they are fixed no so if you have the same type of core the same material of the core your ad current and hysteresis loss is the same no so the formula for hysteresis loss is this one no P sub H, so that P stands for hysteresis power loss. We have our constant P sub H frequency times the flux, no? The flux raised to the power of 1.6, no? If the given is voltage, so you have V times 1.6 over the frequency 0 0.6. Okay, no? Okay, then your ED current loss, so PE, so we have K sub E, this is the constant of proportionality. F squared, then we have here the flux density squared or you could use the voltage no so kev squared no then the copper loss so the copper loss will vary depending on the load and the result of heating at the transformer winding so it will depend no kung ano yung load natin so yung copper loss is as con constant it is dependent to the to the load na ating nilagay sa ating transformer so we could have that one in terms of the primary and the secondary so we have IP squared RP plus I squared RS. So this is the extract equivalent circuit, no? The on sa ating, uh, the the on sa ating transformer. You can use also the approximate equivalent. So AP squared REP or equal to I squared RES, no? Where in our RES and our REP is the equivalent resistance, no? Of our um, primary and secondary winding, no? So the copper loss can be the can be de determined using the short circuit test. No? Okay, so test on transformer. So first we have here the open circuit test used to used to determine the core and the iron loss no? or the or the fixed losses. No? Ito yung nagamit natin, the open circuit test. When we go now to the short circuit test, so it is used to determine the losses, no copper losses at full load. So, ito yung formula for efficiency, no? So, this is the formula for the copper loss. So, the, the variable loss can be also equal to the constant loss, no? So, the all-day efficiency, so this is the ratio of the energy delivered within 24-hour period to the energy input in the same period of time. So, this is applicable to all electrical machines, no? So, the formula for this one is N. So, this is our symbol for efficiency. So, we have energy output per day over energy output per day plus the energy loss per day times 100%. Okay. So, in this in instance, the 
energy copper loss could be equal to the energy core loss no okay so transformer polarity no so condition so when the voltmeter reading is greater than the input test voltage so the polarity is additive so kapag mas malaki yung voltmeter rating compared to the input test voltage so the polarity of our transformer is additive if less than naman yung ating ano voltmeter reading compared to the input test uh, polarity in input test voltage the polarity is subtractive no we have here a special type of transformer which is an auto transformer so this is the only transformer that has a single continuous winding no? single continuous winding so isa lang ang kanyang winding no which is continuous so part of which is common to both primary and secondary so ibig sabihin common yung kanyang yung isang part no ng winding is common to both secondary and the primary it can be used to either step up or step down application with a re relatively small change in voltage between input and output voltages and should not use where there is a large change uh, in voltages because the circuit are connected electrically. So, if yung I step up natin or step down is konti ng ang kanyang difference, so we could use the auto transformer. Okay. Parallel operation of transformer. So, important conditions that must be fulfilled if two or more transformers are to be connected in parallel. So, first, the voltage reading ratings no? of both the primary and secondary must be identical. So, dapat pareho ang kanilang secondary and primary voltage. So, otherwise, current will circulate through the transformer winding which contribute to the losses of transformer. So, kapag hindi pareho, yung isa is nagiging load ng ating ng isang transformer. So, mas uh, bababa yung efficiency. No? The transformer must be properly connected with regards to polarity. So, dapat ang pagkakonek sa kanyang, kanyang polarity is correct. No? If that is additive, additive. Pag uh, subtractive, no? subtractive. Then, also the, co the condition for two transformer, two transformer connected in parallel to operate at the same time. So, dapat pariho ang uh, the power factor are relatively the same. So, itong formula to is, uh, this is um, somewhat um, medyo, uh, ano to, parang highly um, concepts sa engineering, no? But, basically, ang ibig sabihin nito is their secondary current are relatively equal. No? So, dapat equal din kanila mga secondary current. Okay. So, most common transformer connection no, especially if those transformers are connected parallel. No? So, this is three-phase. So, meaning three-phase to lahat. So, first, we have the Y-Y connected with connected neutrals. No? So, has the advantage that the windings are subjected to line voltage divided 3. So, yung sabihin nun is yung line-to-line -line voltage nyo is medium mababa. No? So, this connection without the neutrals are really used since high and equal voltage may result from unbalanced load. No? So, kapag unbalanced load, dapat may neutral because one of the line might be overloaded kasi hindi nababalance ang kanyang, ang kanyang return, no? lalo na kapag walang neutral. Then, delta to delta connection, no? suitable for moderate voltage and large current operation. No? Yung Y to delta connection, so this is primarily used to step up the voltage. So, it is also called as the step-down step, uh, step down application no, where conventional distribution voltage is uh, reduced to supply two voltages for lighting and power loads. Then, we have Y to delta connection. This is for stepping down. The T-scat connection. So, used to convert, convert three-phase to two-phase or vice versa. Then, the V to V or open delta connection. No, sa V to V, yung isang ano mo, yung isang linya mo is a neutral no neutral yung isang linya kunyari wa line 1 line 2 line 3 if that is connected uh, open delta so ito ito yung magiging neutral mo habang ito this is a current carrying wire so live to hot wire okay habang ito naman is a hot wire so ang disadvantage lang nito is unlike the proper delta so nahahati din yung KVA rating ng iyong uh, transformer no the advantage is you could have a 
uh, three phase system using only two transformer kasi dalawang transformer lang kailangan ito no so if you are uh, needing only a a three phase system tapos medyo mababa lang yung load mo so mas okay yung uh, open delta no so use when the load is still small so that to use delta to delta bank is unwarranted so ito yung rason kung bakit nag uh, open delta tayo no so use if one transformer of the delta to delta bank fails no kunyari nasira yung isang uh, transformer ng delta to delta so pwede nating i-rewire yun as a open delta auto transformer also called as a compensator used to reduce voltage starting no especially in mga motors so we will be using the auto transformer starting so ginagamit dun is an auto transformer also used for stepping down or stepping up the voltages okay then we have instrument transformer so we have two no the current transformer no, used in conjunction with the ammeter to measure very high current so we're not the ct ratio no so yung ating uh, ammeter reading times the ct ratio that is that the actual reading of our current in the potential transformer or pt to be used in conjunction with the voltmeter to measure very high voltages no so yung v natin that is our reading of the ammeter tapos yung pt natin pt ratio that is the ratio no of our potential transformer pag uh, if we get the product of the two so magkakaroon tayo ng line voltage and that is the actual line voltage so these are used to supply uh, power to ammeters voltmeters wattmeters relays and so on which is also called as the burden of instrument transformers so yung mga load ng trans instrument transformers are usually the instrument no ng uh, ng isang ano ng isang system no which is which could be an ammeter, pwede rin voltmeter, wattmeter relays, uh, frequency meter, so on and so forth. Okay, so going to transmission lines. So the transmission line, the standards on the transmission line is uh, covered on the Philippine grade code. No? Okay, P Philippine grade code. Philippine grade code, no? Okay, kapag sa distribution naman, it is now covered by the PDC or the Philippine Distribution Code. No? On the sizing of the wires, the, 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 the clearances, no? yung mga clearance ng uh, clearance between wires, no? doon ito makikita sa Philippine Grid Code and P Philippine Distribution Code which, which regards to transmission lines. The important is in relation with the the in, in relation with the Philippine Electrical Code, is alam natin kung ano yung types of transmission line. So, we have trans, short, uh, short transmission line. So, ito yung kanyang uh, length ng buong transmission line does not exceed 50 miles. In medium transmission line, ang kanyang length does not exceed 150 miles, pero hindi naman bababa ng 15 to 1 miles no, ang kanyang length. Habang yung long transmission line, so the length of the line is beyond 150 miles. Okay. So, speaking of transmission lines, so that the transmission line must be protected. So, we have the protective relay. So, a protective relay is a switch gear device that detects fault and initiates the operation of the circuit breaker to isolate the fictive element from the, from the rest of the system no a relay device designed to trip a circuit breaker when a fault is detected so kaya tinatawag siyang protective relay no okay so relay by function so there are different types of relay by function so first we have the overcurrent relay so it is a type of protective relay which operates when the load current exceeds a pick up value so kaya overcurrent so kapag lumagpas siya dun sa value sa pick up value so it is now an overcurrent ang mayayari, magtitrip yung ating breaker na kinokontrol ng ating protective relay. So, we have definite time over current relay. So, it is a relay that o o operates after a definite period of time. No? Once the current exceeds the pick up value. So, this relay has the setting range as well as the time setting range. So, meron siyang current setting range. Kung ano yung kanyang uh, pick up value ng kanyang current. 
kung ilang seconds siya bago mag-trip. No? That is the time seating range. An, into, an instantaneous overcurrent relay is an overcurrent relay which has no intentional time delay for operation. So, instant siya ng trip once an overcurrent is detected. An inverse time overcurrent relay is an overcurrent relay which operates only when the magnitude of their operating current is inversely proportional to the magnitude of the energized quantities. So, when we say inverse time, mas malaki yung overcurrent mo, mas mabilis siyang magkitrip. Ganun na yung operation niya. If the overcurrent is, or the value of the overcurrent no, is far greater, no, mas malaki, so mas mabilis din siyang magtrip. Kaya tinatawag siyang inverse time overcurrent. Okay, so distance relay, also known as impedance relay, no, differ in principle from other forms of protection in that their performance is not governed by the magnitude of the current or voltage in the protected circuit but rather on the ratio of these two quantities. No, distance relays are actually double actuating quantities released with one coil energized by the voltage and the other coil is energized by the current. So meaning, yung ating distance relay relies on the impedance. So meaning the ratio between our voltage and our current. So V over I. So that is impedance. No? So during a fault, on the transmission line, the fault current increases and the voltage at the fault point decreases. No? So, if the voltage ratio, voltage to current ratio falls below a predetermined value or set value, the relay will operate. No? So, ang sineset natin dito sa ating distance relay is the voltage ratio or the impedance ng ating um, transmission line. No? A directional relay uses an additional polarizing source of the voltage or current to determine the direction of fault. So, directional elements respond to the phase shift between a polarizing quantity and an, and an operate quantity. The fault can be located upstream or downstream of the relay location, allowing appropriate protective device to be operated inside or outside the zone of protection. So, yung, yung directional relay is the same with the impedance relay, pero... Um, meron siyang meron siyang polarizing source na kung saan pwedeng pwedeng niyang ikat is yung linya lang na kung saan nandun talaga yung fault hindi yung buong system no? so that is a directional relay either uh, pag ang fault is nasa upstream ma, ma determine niya na yung ano yung fault is nasa supply side so yun lang yung ititrip kapag nasa downstream naman or the, or the load side yun na din yung kanyang ititrip hindi yung magtitrip yung buong system then the more relay or the admittance relay and it is a high speed relay no so in this kind of relay the operating torque can be attained through the element of volt amperes whereas the controlling part can be developed because the voltage element that means this relay is a direct directional relay that is controlled through voltage so the more relay can be controlled no through voltage but it is also a directional relay these relays are used in long, medium, and short transmission lines. So their working principle is it uh, for long distance a transmission line because these lines generally experience power swinging transients as well as load shading. Thus, the more relay are used in practice to provide improved accuracy whenever transient occurs. So for transient fault, no, so ang ginagamit is the more relay. Then we have lighting arister, no? also known as lightning arrestor or lightning isolator. So, it is a device on the electric power transmission and telecommunication system to protect the insulating the insulation and the conductors of the system from damaging effects of lightning. So, the, a typical lightning arrestor has a high voltage terminal and a ground terminal. Tapos, they are connected using the down conductors no, or the 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 conductor from the high voltage terminal to the grounding no so when a lighting surge or or switching surge which is very similar travels along the power line to the arrestor the current from the surge is diverted through the arrestor in most cases to earth okay so we have type of lighting arrestor so we have the road gap so it is the simplest form of arrestor so the limitation is 
after a search is over, the air gap is maintained by normal supply voltage leading to short circuit in the system. Now, the rods also could be melt or get damaged due to excessive heat produced by the arc. Then the or it could also affect affected by the uh, climatic conditions. No, then the polar the polarity of the surge also affects the performance of the arrester. Then we have the spiral gap. No, in such type of devices, the air gap is provided between two different spear. No, okay, so spear gap. One of the spear is connected to the line, and the other spear is connected to the ground. So the spacing between the two spear is very small. A choking coil is inserted between the face winding of the transformer and the sphere is connected to the line. Then you have the expulsion type arrester. No? This type of arrester is so called as protector tube and is commonly used on system operating at voltages up to 33 kilovolts. No? The advantages is they are not very expensive. They are improved form of rod, rod, rod gap arrester. No? and it can be easily installed the limitation is that the explosion type transformer can only perform on limited number of operation no? and this type of arrester cannot be mounted or enclosed to equipment due to discharge gases during operation so pwede siya pwede ilagay sa enclosure no? and due to poor volt, amp volt ampere or car a voltage to current ratio characteristic of the arrester so it is not suitable for protection of expensive equipment so hindi siya para sa mga expensive na equipment okay okay now we will go to our practice test no in this um in this part of the video no so i will be i will be uh, showing questions no that uh, we, will be, we will be also solving now if you want to solve it where you on so you could post uh, the video after the problem try the problem is shown and we gusto nyo nang i-check kung tama ba yung sagot then you could unpost the video and uh, listen or watch for the solution and the answer okay so we have number one no so the secondary of our transformer is 5 amperes at 100 volts no the current in the primary is 1 ampere so what is the primary voltage okay so we have here our solution no so when we say um transformer ratio so that the transformer ratio is the voltage of the primary over the voltage of the secondary is equal to the number of turns on the primary over the number of turns of the secondary is equal to the secondary current over the primary current no so ang gagamitin natin na ratio is yung given kasi natin is voltage and amperes so yung ratio natin is between the voltages and the currents no so we have isa mo natin yung given no so the secondary ang kanyang secondary voltage is equal to 100 volts habang ang kanyang um, secondary current no? so ito is 5 amperes then our primary voltage yun yung hinahanap but we have our primary current which is equal to 1 ampere no? so using the ratio so primary voltage over primary a uh, secondary voltage is equal to secondary current over primary uh, current. So, hinahanap natin is itong primary voltage. So, ito ilipat na natin to dito. No? So, we have primary voltage is equal to the secondary current times the secondary voltage over the primary current. So, we have the secondary current is 5 amperes the secondary voltage is 100 volts no tapos yung primary current is 1 ampere no I cancel natin yung ampere so we have 5 times 100 over 1 so we have 500 volts no so yung answer natin dito is 500 volts so that is letter a
no? So, ang kailangan natin remember is tong transformer ratio. Okay, next. A transformer operating on a 220 volt line supplies a 10 volt current with 10 amps. So, what is the what is the primary, so hindi ato to winding, but the primary current. No? So, what is the primary current? Okay, solution. No? Okay, so our given, no? so meron tayong primary voltage, which is 200 volts. Tapos, nahanap is the primary current, so ito yung wala. So, meron din tayong secondary voltage, which is 10 volts. Na yung kanyang primary current, a secondary current is equal to 10 amperes. No? So, using the transformer ratio, okay, so we have the primary voltage over the secondary voltage is equal to the secondary current over the primary current. No? So, inhanap natin dito is the primary current. No? So, ito ilipat natin sa kabila. Tapos, ito naman ilipat natin dito habang ito ilipat natin sa baba. No? So, yun yung mangyayari. No? We are going to have the ratio and proportion of these quantities. So, mangyayari, we have the primary current is equal to so the secondary current so we have the secondary voltage over the primary voltage okay so just substitute the given so meron tayong the primary current and the secondary current is 10 amperes then the the primary and secondary voltage the E sub S is 10 volts over the primary voltage which is 200 volts no so we have 100 over 200 no so this is equal to so 1 over 2 so that is 0 0.5 amperes no so the correct answer is letter b no okay next Okay, so a step-down transformer, so 120 to 10 volt has 50 turns in the secondary. So how many turns in the primary? So in half ito is yung turns natin sa primary. So solution. So our given, so the primary voltage is 120 volts. The secondary voltage is 10 volts. Tapos, meron tayong secondary turns. So, NS. So, that is 50. So, ang hinahanap natin is the primary turns. No? Okay. So, solving for the primary turns no? using the ratio. So, we have EP over E sub S is equal to NP over N sub S. No? So, ito, ilipat natin dito, no? itong N sub S. So, we'll have E sub P times N sub S. So, that is the primary voltage times the secondary turn over the secondary voltage is equal to the primary turns. Okay. Wala. Okay. So, now we will just substitute our given. No? So, we have the primary voltage. So, 120 volts. Then the the secondary turns, no, which is fifty over the secondary voltage, which is ten volts, no, and P. Okay. <clears throat> so now we will use our calculator, no. So so yung calculator, yun. So we have one twenty times fifty over 10 no so we have 600 no so we will have 600 turns no? so yan yung ating
primary terms no? which is letter B no? next okay a transformer having 2,500 turns in the primary and 500 turns in the secondary delivers 15 amperes to its load what current does the primary coil draw no so solution so given natin we have our primary turns which is 2500 yan din tayo yung secondary turns which is 500 tapos yung secondary current natin is 15 amperes so ang hinahanap is the primary current no so using the transformer ratio no so we have np over ns is equal to I sub S over IP. So, ito yung hinahanap. So, ilipat natin to dito. Yung in S dito. Yung in P naman dyan. No? So, we'll have I sub P is equal to I sub S times N S over N P. Now, substituting the given. So, we'll have so, we'll have 15 amperes for our secondary current. No, to 15 yan. Then times NS which is 500 over the primary turns which is 2500. Okay. So using our calculator, so we have 15 times 500 over 2500 okay so we have 3 you know so we have 3 amperes so that is the primary current which is letter c no okay next question a transformer draws 2 amperes in the primary coils and delivers it 8 amperes from the secondary side the primary coil is made up of 3,600 turns of wire. How many turns are in the secondary coil? So, inahanap naman ito is the sec uh, secondary coil na turn na given is yung mga amperes, no? the primary and the secondary current and the number of turns in the primary. No? So, solution. Okay. So, given muna tayo. So, the primary current is 2 amperes. The secondary current is 8 amperes. Tapos, ang kanyang primary coil is equal to 3,600 turns. So, we are looking for the number of turns for the secondary. Okay. So, using the transformer ratio, so we have NP over NS is equal to IS over IP. So, we are looking for the number of turns of the secondary. So, ito lilipat natin dito. Ito, lipat dito sa kabila. Habang ito naman, lipat natin dyan. Okay. So, we have NP times I sub P over IS is equal to NS. So, ang matitira dito sa kabila is now the secondary turns. So, we can now use this formula to solve for the a number of secondary turns so the NP is 3600 our primary current is 2 amperes habang ang ating secondary current naman is 8 amperes no? okay so using our calculator so we have 360 times 2 over 8 no the correct answer is 90. No? 90 turns. So, yan yung ating primary turns. Which is letter A, yung 90 turns. A. So, next question. Name the three parts of a very basic transformer. So, letter A, fuses, conductors, and housing. Letter B, core, primary, and secondary winding. C is three, shunt windings. D is core taps and one winding. No? So the correct answer for this one is letter B. So the basic 
parts of a transformer is a core na kung saan doon natin um, uh, nilalagay yung primary and the secondary winding. Okay? Next. What is the purpose of transformer taps? No? Yung taps sa mga transformer. So, adjust the wattage, change from step up to step down mode, adjust the voltage, or adjust the power factor. No? So, the purpose of the tap is to, letter C, no? adjust the voltage. Okay, next. So, ito yung explanation. No? So, since the voltage fluctuates as, a, as the distance of the generator increase, so, taps are installed on the transformer to compensate the, vira the vibration in the voltage. No? So, that is to adjust the voltage para ma-adjust natin yung fluctuation ng ating voltage. Okay. Which of the following does not change in a transformer? So, is it the current, the voltage, the frequency, or all of the above? Okay. So, the correct answer for this one is the frequency. In a transformer, the, fre the frequency does not change. The current may change depending on the turns or the voltage also may change depending on the turns and the current. Okay? Next. In a transformer, the energy is conveyed from primary to secondary through cooling of coil, that is letter A, or letter B through air, letter C by the flux, or letter D, none of the above. So, the correct answer for this one is letter C, no? by flux or by the magnetic flux. So, kaya natatransfer yung electrical energy. Okay? Next. The no-load current drawn by the transformer is usually what percent of the full-load current? No? So, the correct answer for this one is letter B, no? 2 to 5 percent. So, kaya yung ating transformer efficiency is from 98 to 95 percent. So, medyo matas-taas yung efficiency ng ating transformer. No? Next. The no load, no load in a transformer is carried out to determine the blank. So, that is the open circuit test no? or the no load test. The copper loss, the magnetizing current loss, the magnetizing current and loss, efficiency of the transformer. No? The correct answer for this one is letter C, the magnetizing current and loss. So that is the hysteresis and the AD current loss. No? So that is the other term. No? The magnetizing current, this is the uh, AD current loss. And yung sa naman is the hysteresis loss. Okay, next. Which of the following is not part of a transformer installation? So, is it a conservator, breather, vocal relay, or exciter? Okay? The correct answer for this one is letter D, the exciter. So, exciter is used on a generator or an alternator. So, the, the breather, the conserv conservator, and the vocal relay is the common parts of a, uh, of a oil, uh, force oil uh, force oil, air cooled, and water cooled transformer no? type. Next, in the transformer, following winding, the transformer following winding has got more questionable areas. So, the low voltage winding, the high voltage winding, the primary winding, or the secondary winding. So, alin yung malaki yung um, wire na ginagamit sa mga winding. So, is it the low, the high voltage, the primary, or the secondary? Okay. The correct answer is letter A, the low voltage winding. So, that is to step down the, to step down the voltage. Okay. Efficiency of a power transformer is one of the order of blank. So, 100%, 98%, 50%, or 25%. No? The correct answer is letter B, 98%. So, kaya yung kanyang no load current, uh, no load percent is from 2 to 9, 2 to 5%. Kasi yung kanyang efficiency is from 98, from 95 to 98%. Okay. In a given transformer, for a given applied voltage, losses which remain a constant irrespective of the load changes 
are blank. So this is friction and winded loss, copper loss, hysteresis and AD current loss, or letter C, or letter D, none of the above. Okay? So the correct answer is letter C, the hysteresis and the AD current loss. So they are the only losses that is constant on a transformer that is not affected by the load. So hindi, yung AD at yung hysteresis current loss, hindi siya na hindi siya nagbabago kahit ano pa yung load ng ating transformer. Okay, next. A common method of cooling a power transformer is natural air cooling, air blast cooling, oil cooling, or any of this. Or any of the above. No? A correct answer for this one is letter A. A letter C, oil cooling. Okay. The noise resulting from vibration of lamination set by magnetic forces is termed as blank. So, magnetos, magnetostrication, bu, hum, or zoom. Correct answer is letter C. It is called the hum. No? Yung tunog na nagagaling sa transformer dahil sa, uh, sa, no, sa vibration ng mga lamination ng core. No, due to magnetic forces. Ang tawag doon is ham. So, that is normal. No? Normal yan sa transformer. Okay. In a substation, the following equipment is not installed. Exciters, series, capacitor, shunt reactors, or Voltaire 3 transformer. Okay. The correct answer is letter A. Exciter. No? Sa substation, walang exciter. Exciter is really... Um, found on the uh, power plant, no? yung sa may mga generator. Okay. Bocal's relay is blank, located on the top of the conservator tank, installed inside the breather, connected in pipe connecting the main tank of the transformer and the conservator, part of the circuit breaker installed near the transformer. The correct answer is letter C. So it is the connected on the pipe contain connecting the main tank of the transformer and the conservator. Okay. The pilot relay is provided to obtain blank, no? Preset tripping, delayed tripping, high speed tripping, or none of these. No? So the correct answer for this one is letter C, no? The high speed tripping. Okay. So, the relay preferred for phase fault along long transmission line is blank. Reactance relay, impedance relay, more relay, or the vocals relay. So, the correct answer is letter C, no? the more relay for phase fault. No? For phase fault, yung either single phase or three phase fault. So, it is much preferred for the more relay because it's much accurate no? and much faster. Okay. Which of the following relay has inherent directional relay? Impedance, reactance relay, more relay, or none of these? Okay, the correct answer is letter A. No? So, letter A is a directional relay na ginagamit niya yung voltage to current ratio, the impedance relay. Okay. Relay generally used for phase fault is blank. So, for phase fault, no? parang bumalik na yata yung question na to. So, the correct answer is the distance relay no so although pag mas accurate ginagamit is more relay but for general use yung ginagamit is the distance relay okay reactors for the protection of transmission lines are connected in blank so yung reactors so it is connected in series parallel delta or star correct answer is letter a so it is connected in series a lighting arrester is always located before the isolator before the switch gear before the main transformer or before the current transformer okay the correct answer is letter c before the transformer next basically a lighting arrester is a surge alternator surge reflector surge absorber or a surge diverter okay the correct answer is letter d surge diverter so di na divert niya yung surge na galing sa lightning no? a voltage surge traveling on a transmission line will first enter the blanks which gear 
current transformer, circuit breaker, lightning arrestor. Okay. The correct answer is letter D sa lightning arrestor. Kapag nauna yan sa switch gear, so malaking problema yan. So baka masira yung ating ano, switch gear. No? The main purpose of a brightening lightning arrestor in substation is to protect the circuit breaker, relays, transformer, or the civil structure. Okay. The correct answer is letter C, no? to protect the transformer. Kasi kapag nasira yung transformer natin, uh, the whole distribution line or distribution system will also um, will also stop or maaaring uh, makat off yung ating buong distribution system. Expulsion type lighting arrestor are used with systems having operating voltage up to okay, so the correct answer is letter D 33 Kilo volts. Okay, so I believe that will be all for the discussion on transformer and transmission lines. No? I hope you understand something on this video. So the the PDF copy of this lecture is uh, can be downloaded on the on the link no on the description below this video no okay so i hope you understand something and as always enjoy learning